Hey YouTube, Nick Von Diamond here again. What you're seeing here is uh, the stuff that we're going to need for um, doing a spark plug, spark plug hole repair. Um, had an issue with a plug deciding to jump into my lap a couple times this week, um, just sort of out of the blue. So I'm going to uh, give this kit from uh, Fix a Thread. Um, maybe it's uh, OEM, oh yeah, not real sure what the brand name actually is on these, but uh, I'm going to try and give it uh, a shot at doing a repair. I'm actually going to use um, a hint of JB Weld as my adhesive um, to keep these replacement uh, helicoils in place. Um, what that will hopefully allow us to do is fix this issue um, in the head permanently um, so that we don't have uh, random plug jumping into our lap every time we try and you know get to work so we can pay the bills. Um, you can see I've already set up the uh, the tap here. Um, I've already greased it because um, you want to be able to pick up as many of the metal shavings as you can. In this case we're working on the number four plug um, so it's backmost hole and we're going to be working on this first step is going to be to pull out the uh, spark plug and then go from there. So I just had to make a blind hole retrieval tool um, out of my screwdriver that can hold the weight of say a tap or something like that. The spark plug hole is just about the same inside diameter as the outside diameter of uh, a socket. So if it can hold up the socket, the idea is it'll be able to, to grab my tap and retrieve it. Um, if you don't know, the way you magnetize a screwdriver is you simply take the screwdriver and ideally a really strong magnet, like a speaker magnet, and you touch it down and you run it one way a few times and you align all the little magnetic domains in the uh, metal, all of the grains of the steel of whatever you're magnetizing, and that gives you a unified magnetic field that is proportional to the strength of whatever you're using to magnetize it. Cool, huh? Can't really see it from here, but those threads are definitely messed up, which makes me not very happy. Um, it's really no wonder why stuff isn't sticking. Um, the spark plugs aren't staying because that hole is definitely trashed. I had to take the valve cover off because the socket won't fit. Um, it's a 19mm socket for this and now I'm going to try and actually cut the new threads, use the RTV to seal it, or actually JB Weld I guess I'm using, um, and then update when that's done. Yippee! This is so much fun. It took a while to tap this, but uh, you can kind of sort of see the threads are all continuous and shiny. I'll try and get light down there a little better. Um, threads are all continuous and shiny down there all the way through. You have to tap the entire hole in order to get the helicoil to stick. And use a screwdriver or something flat, like a flat blade, to uh, clean out a bunch of the um, grease and things that are holding on to all the metal shavings. Um, once the hole is all the way tapped, then what we're going to do is we're going to size um, the helicoil to the plug. In this case, I think we're going to use the uh, middle size, and I'll update that. So actually, the long one is the right size, the long helicoil. Um, you want to have the knurled end toward the spark plug um, top, because you're actually going to swage that outward to grab into the teeth. Um, can have the teeth grab into the top of the hole to try and keep it from rotating. Um, when you pull spark plugs out in the future. To further assist with that, um, what I'm going to do is actually apply some JB Weld um, to that. So we'll mix that up. It's pretty simple. It's one-to-one -one mixture. Um, you take the two tubes, you squirt it out onto the surface, you mix it up, and um, apply it in small quantities to the threads, usually up um, 
you know, you want to leave at least an eighth inch to almost quarter inch above, if you can, the actual combustion surface because you really don't want all kinds of extra funk getting into your combustion chamber and messing with the way your car runs.